Good morning, it's 10 to 9 in the morning on Thursday. I'm at my boyfriend's house, got in late last night after a music session. I'm making coffee for myself. We've got a power cut coming very, very soon, which is why I made sure to get some coffee on the go before that happened. In light of this power cut, which is due to be scheduled in 10 minutes, I'm going to make a thermos flask for my second cup of coffee. Ah, uh, yes, I beat the power cut. I didn't put milk in that yet. I've just uh, got hot water and coffee in there. I'm going to head upstairs now and do two hours work on my channel and then go home and then continue working on my channel because I'm really behind with my editing because I was working all day yesterday and that out in the night as well so didn't really get much done now this might look a little random but can I say this thermos flask is giving off a lot of heat to the touch so I don't think it's thermosing very well so I decided to put a little thermos flask tea cozy on it out of this oven mitt it was the perfect fit actually I can recommend I shall speak to you later it's about 20 past nine I was just sitting here editing and the lights went out so um, power cut time Mm. What do you think about that then, yesterday, me? Oh, I say. We're on our way back now. Oh, for goodness sake. The heat sensor is back on the floor again. IB recently squished that and the other smoke alarm back up on the ceiling for me really hard with his manly strength. I'm going to have to get something stickier, I think. Anyway, I'm back. IB's electric is still off. He's got two site visits to do, not too far from here. So he's going to go and do those two. And then about half past one, which is about an hour and a half from now, he's going to come back and probably do an hour of work at my table here and I'm just going to get on with what I'm getting on with and then we'll probably go out to lunch as we've been trying to have a cafe lunch for the last two times and both times the cafe was either shut or about to shut so maybe we'll have more luck this time. I'm not hungry at the moment though, I've just been eating in the car. <laughs> I've got so much laundry to put away, it's ridiculous. That's all clean in there and I'm just thinking, why don't I shove a load on now? Because I think I've got some in that basket there. My daughter's got her work hours now. I don't know if she's had her induction or not. They were waiting until there were enough recruits in the group to run it. It just feels like a really exciting new chapter. I'm printing. Guess what I'm printing? I just bought something online, the Flash Gordon sheet music. It wasn't as cheap as I thought it was going to be. That one that I said was $2.99 in yesterday's vlog. Well, I went back to it today, didn't I, to get it. And it said times 10 in the items box. I thought, well, I only want one, obviously. Uh, and then it said minimum purchase, 10 copies, because it was for a choir, isn't it? So then, of course, it was more like $30, wasn't it? So I was like, no. Uh, so for, I don't know, I think this is about £6. It was like £1.78 extra to have a PDF version. And I need a PDF version, obviously. So, yeah, there we are. <laughs> this is what it is. So here it comes. Anyway, ooh, super excited. Got guitar chords on there, so that'll be handy. I'll probably, well, adapt it for us because this is for piano and three vocals, and we are three vocals and flute, fiddle, and mando cello, plus, you know, samples, and we could put a record a bass part because the bass is just going dump 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 all the way through so we could just record that and have it playing and play along with it if we needed to save bringing a whole bass guitar to the gig unnecessarily it's about half past one now my boyfriend's downstairs he arrived i made him a cup of tea and he's doing his work at my desk because his power's still off at his place i was doing all the sheet music stuff as you saw getting ready for next week's rehearsal i have been contacting people in lisbon again trying to get gigs and just not getting through and leaving messages yeah. again <laughs> i have been chasing my builder and apparently he's coming around tomorrow with a plumber at some point to have a look at my bathroom situation so hopefully we we'll make a start on that soon because i'm just fed up with seeing the floor all ripped up what else have i been doing oh chasing mick for a public liability insurance certificate for a venue that we need so it's like just band admin this is the sort of thing you have to do when you're a musician it's not just all playing as we know We're trying to sort out some lessons for izzy the logistics for sorting out uh, lessons for izzy is getting just more complicated because now she's taking on a job as well as college uh, and the college tends to just throw changes at her timetable 
randomly, you know, additional things and whatnot. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna see what my boyfriend wants to do about lunch, if he's ready or not. I will do some housework if he isn't, because I'm getting a bit fed up with looking at all those dry clothes in the kitchen now, so I might go tackle those. IB is very much still busy down there for a little while, although he said he is hungry, uh, but I'm just gonna put these clothes away for now. <laughs> because I'm too hungry to do anything intellectually stimulating or physically strenuous. We're out, I've gone for a flat white with oats and look, a bit of a veggie dinner here. IB and I are being spontaneous. We had a lovely lunch as you saw and he does need to go back and do some more work and I really should be being productive really but we're just out in the town treated myself to a little something i'll show you that later and he's been buying stuff as well stuff to stop the stomp box sliding around really we're looking for non-grip stuff so he's bought a mat and uh i think that's it I'm at the cereal section at the moment yes uh, we're in b&m oh coconut noodles are back the spicy stir fried my favorite whenever they're in i stock up and the problem is, is he as now addicted to them as well? Probably not these though, because these are very chilly fried, so I might be safe with these. I don't know how much they are. Line awaiting price. Well, hopefully they'll let me know at the till, and it's not too much. Do you know, ever since that squirrel incident, I've been meaning to buy a four pack of Whisper to share with my boyfriend. <laughs> Cheer him up, you know, the tent one when they got raided. Oh, come on, these are going down thick and fast. £1.19. <sighs> some of them. I haven't bought a shopping bag for me. How annoying. I wasn't planning to go shopping. The Halloween stock is in, look. But we need to be space aliens this year. We are now in the home section. I think he's looking for more non-slip material. Oh no, no, oh no. He's found the box section. 20? 18. Eight, uh, 18. He's, buy, he's buying 18 boxes for his shed. Lots of nuts and bolts and he's just compartmentalising all of his possessions basically. I think you can have too many boxes. He's buying this for himself. I'm sure we've got face paint you know. I've got a big box file yeah, full of... I don't like it. It's, it's, I don't like messy. it. It's so messy. Yours is. All right. Well, you have your own then. Ivy's just gone home ahead of me. Now I'm in Wilco. There are two things I need. I'm being distracted looking at all these Christmas things. <laughs> like the bear um yeah so basically i need something sticky that i can stick up my smoke alarms with because they keep falling back off the ceiling again so i'm hoping there's some extra sticky padded double-sided sticky tape and also ooh, halloween things as well also i want an expanding file for my desktop <laughs> look at this juxtaposition these things here and the halloween hand <laughs> if it's rigid enough you could actually like use that to rake up your soil that's quite funny that's £8.25 carpet tape. Oh, that's very expensive, isn't it? Double sided there, £4.75. It's nice and thick. I think I need something with a bit of padding. I don't know why, I just feel that I do. Mounting tape? Heavy duty mounting tape. How much is that? Looks quite thick, doesn't it? I mean, it might be a bit expensive, but if it means our smoke alarms work. You know, it could save our lives. So really, I'd rather spend a bit more and it actually stays on the ceiling. Okay, I think I'm gonna have it. Oh, the expanding magazine thingy, rainbow colored thing is still out of stock. Well, guess how much this was? You'll never guess. I had nearly had a heart attack at the till, but I decided I was just gonna get it anyway because I need a solution and I need it now, really. Seven pound 85, Ooh. But anyway, on the opposite side of things for four pound, which I thought was a bargain, I got this. You're probably wondering what it is. <laughs> like Russian dolls. Oh, they got happy smiles on them. Look like me. It's for if you don't finish all your dinner and you want to just cover it. That's what those are for. Not quite the right size. Ball. But you get the gist. There, that's the right size. Right, let's make Ivy a cup of tea because he's still working at the desk and I'm gonna go in the cellar and practice my flute. It's gone all drizzly now, it's half past five. The light is starting to go, believe it or not. This camera always makes it look brighter than it really is. Anyway, look, I haven't practiced yet. <laughs> what happened was Ivy decided to reload Windows onto his laptop 
a new version and then it just wouldn't boot up. So basically there was no more work that he could do here with a non-functioning laptop. So what we did was we sat and drank our tea together, had a bit of a natter and then he went and I've just been fiddling around a little bit, having a break to be honest for 20 minutes or so and now I'm going to go and do my hours practice in the cellar which I'm not going to film so I'll speak to you when I finish. I was just about to start talking to you and I heard a pip and it's a battery going in something pip i.e carbon monoxide alarm, heat sensor, or one of the smoke alarms. It came from the kitchen. I think it's probably the carbon monoxide detector because we only had that heat sensor recently. Oh, how annoying. I hate it when that happens. Those pips are just, they give you the pip. <laughs> anyway, hopefully tomorrow we have some builder action. Speaking of pips, I've got somebody beeping outside. Not for me, I'm sure. So hopefully this builder turns up. He's coming with a plumber. He's going to look at my bathroom specifically. So there's a number of things I want doing in my bathroom. I want that floor replaced. I need to replace the toilet. So let's do it at the same time. Otherwise, you know, it's just going to be more of a pain in the butt later if the floor's like cut around the existing toilet. So yeah, there's that. And I want a shower put in just like a, a thermostatic shower mounted on the wall and a curtain rail that's the right shape and size basically, because that would improve our quality of life somewhat, I think. I've actually, my parents actually gifted me the money to have the shower put in for Christmas, and it's been sat in my bank account ever since, and I'd actually forgotten about it. It's been so long, so thank you, mum and dad, for that. So, yeah. Uh, what else have I got to tell you? I think I'm going to have quite an arranging music day tomorrow. It's in my head. I'm like, right, because I've got a relatively clear day tomorrow, so I'm like, right really break the back of the Halloween gig repertoire. So yeah, I shall really get my head down and do that. And at some point I'll have the builder and the plumber turning up. Anyway, I'm on my own this evening. I do like being on my own occasionally. I do enjoy that from time to time. I wouldn't want to do it all the time, but just now and again, it's quite fun, isn't it? Anyway, I am gonna have a rest. I'm gonna have some food and a rest. Chill out for maybe an hour. I'm gonna treat myself, watch some vlogs and just really relax and then edit mine for a few hours. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this one. If you would like to watch more vlogs from this channel, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and give the video a like if you like it, if you would like to help support the growth of this channel because that helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!